Hi everyone, uh, and welcome back uh, to uh, this series of uh, questions related to circuit. And more specifically, we are interested to solve problems that deals with uh, power calculations. Uh, so in this question, we have three loads connected in parallel. Now, unlike the previous examples here, we have the power expressed in KVA, uh, not just in kilowatt. And uh, we want to know how to deal when we uh, with the question when we have the power given as a KVA or as the apparent power. Also, we have here leading power factor. In the previous examples, we mainly have lagging power power factor. So we'll see how we will deal with uh, this uh, problem. So in this problem here, we want to find the uh, voltage and the current at the source. So we want to find this current I at the source, and we want to have the, the voltage. Okay. Then we want to find the complex power supplied by Vs. We'll come up with the, what's the meaning of the complex power. And then how we can derive the real and the reactive power from, from this. How we can find these two important components. And then what is the power factor of the combined these three loads uh, together. Now, each load is connected to a constant voltage, which is 480 volt and angle of zero. So this current will consume a current, I will call it I1. This will consume another current called I2, and this is I3. So basically your IS is nothing but the summation of these three currents, I1 plus I2 plus I3. So the key point is how to find I1, I2, and I and I3. Okay, so let's calculate I1. So what do we know about I1? I1, uh, we have the power and we have the power factor and we have the voltage. So from this, I1 is equal to the power divided by the voltage times the power factor. And this is I1 as a magnitude. So this is equal to 30 times 10 to the power 3 divided by the voltage, which is 480 times the 0.8 and this uh, will give me a current equal to 78.1 amps. Now, since we work in phasors, the magnitude only is not sufficient. We need to find the, the angle, okay? Now, the voltage angle is, is zero. So theta, we call it theta z or theta v minus theta i is equal to cosine inverse of the point 0.8 and this is equal to 36.9. This is actually theta v minus theta i. Now i is leading now because this is a leading so i has to be higher than theta v. Okay so if theta v is zero theta i will equal to plus 36.9. If it is lagging, then it will be minus 36.9 because it will lag the, the voltage. So from this, your I1 is equal to 78.1 angle of plus 36.9. And this is abs. This is your I1. And now we'll move on and find I2. Now, as we know, S is equal to V times i and is here as a magnitude or what we call the apparent power okay so the v and the i are also magnitude only so your i2 is equal to s2 which is 20 times 10 to 3 divided by the 480 and this is equal to 41.6 amp now for the angle it is 0.9 Okay, so theta z or theta v minus theta i is equal to cosine inverse of 0.9, and this is equal to 25.8. So from this, your i2 is equal to what? Is equal to minus 25.8. Why here it's minus? Because this is a lagging power factor. Lagging power factor means the current lag the voltage. The voltage is zero as our reference, so this has to be 
minus. So the, the angle is minus 25.8. So your I2 uh, is equal to the 41.6 and the angle is minus 25.8. Now you find I3, which is equal to, now do it a bit faster, 10 times power 3. This is given in kilowatt. So divide by 480 and times the power factor, which is the point, the point eight. So this is equal to your I3 is equal to 26 amp. And the angle is point eight lagging. We know that this is 36.9, but since it is lagging, so your I3 is equal to 26 angle of minus 36.9. So now we know I1, I2, and I3. So from this, you just add them. Your IS is equal to I1, which is 78.1 uh, angle of 36.9 plus I2, which is 41.6 angle of minus 25.8 plus I3, which is 26 angle of minus 36.9. Now, when we add all these currents, we'll get 121 angle of 6.2 amps. And I did uh, detailed calculations how we can add those numbers in polar format. We have to convert them into rectangular format and then convert them back into polar command. So this is your I, IS. This is your current coming from the, from the source. Now I want to find VS. How to find VS? It's very simple. VS is basically the voltage 480 and the voltage drop here. That's all. Just a simple KVL. Since these three loads are in parallel, we'll have exactly the same voltage. So the voltage here is 480, angle of zero, plus this voltage drop, you will get VS. So you basically your VS is equal to your IS, which is this current, your IS times 0.1 plus J.2. Uh, this is the impedance of the line of the overhead line or the underground cable where you are connecting the source to the loads plus the 480 angle of zero. So we know everything. And when we do the calculations, you will find this is equal to 491 angle of 2.998. So this is your VS. And now this is the first requirement. Then we want to find the complex power supplied by the, the source. What is the complex power? It is S, but now S as a vector, not as a scalar. When it is S as a scalar, we call it apparent power, which is this, apparent. But S as a vector is equal to V times I conjugate. And since this is at the source, so both will be the source voltage and the source current. So, Basically, you multiply Vs, which is 491 angle of 2.98 times I conjugate, which is Is, which is the 121 angle of minus 6.2, because this is will be the conjugate, the conjugate uh, uh, value of the current. So we just change the sign of the angle of the current, VI conjugate. So when you do the multiplications, you will find this is equal to 59.4 angle of minus 3.22 KVA. Now, this is in polar uh, format. We need to convert this into rectangular format. And we do when we do so, this is equal to 59.3 minus J. 3.33. So this is your this is your complex power and this is your complex power, but we prefer it in this format. Why? Because of the second requirement in the same part B, which is identify the real and the reactive power. So this is your real power, 59.3 kilowatt, and this is your reactive power. 3.33 kvar so this is in kilo 
what and this is in kva ar okay so now we know what's the real power and the reactive power let's go back here what is the power factor of the combined three loads now we have these three loads we want to find what is the combined uh, power factor now the combined power factor you have to make sure that at what place in the circuit is it at vs or here because they, they will have two different power factors and since it is uh, at the load side so the power factor this is part c the power factor will equal to cosine theta v minus theta theta i and it's equal to cosine now at the load the theta v is zero minus the theta i the total i which is the i i s that uh, the angle of i is equal to 6.2 so it is minus 6.2 and this is equal to 0 0.994 is this is the answer no this is not the complete answer now we have to specify if it is lagging or leading now if you go back here the current angle is plus 6.2 the voltage angle is zero so the current actually leads the voltage and the power factor is referring to the current not to the voltage so this has to be leading okay so with this this question actually summarizes all the needed information when it comes to the single phase power calculation.